Alright, it's going to be back on the 64 Red Comet. Sunday, so we made it to the weekend, and you can see it's not painted. Red, anyway. But you can tell I took off all the masking. You're probably saying, well, if it's not painted red, why did you unmask it? We'll show you why. So I don't know if you can pick it up on the glass, but all that red dust from sanding it. See it? There's dust. It was all behind the tape. So we got to blow it off all real good. We're not painting it here anyway, so that's another reason for a mask. I'm going to be driving it a couple miles away. It's a small trucking company that my uncle works with, and he's going to let me clean up an area out there like. Wednesday, probably drive the car out there Thursday, gives me Friday to tape it all back off, Saturday to maybe make sure we got it all right, because after I weld today, which is Sunday, I got Monday and Tuesday to finish knocking out all those areas that need blocked, so there will be some more sanding, a little bit more icing and putty work that's going to go down, but hopefully have this thing ready to shoot this Sunday. So, it's going to be a day of welding here so I can get it running again, get the gas tank back in it, and be done welding. So, there's it's the last two spots that I got to weld on this car. I do have some footage where I welded up some floor pans and the front torque boxes. Again, this car rotted out, man. It sat in a bad spot for a long time. And condensation and moisture got to a couple spots. I mean, you can tell the car is really beautiful when it comes to some things. Especially the interior after me and my son redone it, but haven't gotten any round them ups done, man, because I've been really busy. So there's no video on Saturday and no video today. I don't believe I'm gonna get a video out today either. I'm gonna be welding for a good couple hours, plus cutting, fabbing, cleaning to get it all to weld and stick good. So that's what I'll be back with. First one we're gonna do is rip this wheel off and uh, torque box just has to be finished up and weld across that inner wheel wall right there so this spot should be fairly easy to knock out and then it'll be on to the trunk so we'll be back with you a couple more spots where that dust is at man check out how much dust is in the headlights how much fell out of there so that's why you unmask it and retape after body work because you don't want all that shit to get in your new paint so we're not painting at the paint booth, but we're going to shoot for the best results we can get with what we got. So we'll be back in a few. So as you see, you got the wheel off, got it welded up, smeared some dirt glass around some of it. Definitely got two torque boxes in it now on both sides. So we are probably going to, when we first got the car, we pressure washed the bottom and had him paint it with just some black enamel. But after we get it painted red, we'll probably be coming back with painting the bottom up black again. And I'll get some gravel guard, black gravel guard, flat satin black or something. And we'll shoot up these wheel wells again clean up his drums but for right now the welding's done and that was the point so we're throwing the wheel back on and i'm going to get on to the back part and try to get it welded up today too all right all right so as you can see i've made it around to the back what a chore getting the bolt out of that shackle here we take a look at this before i go in here with the cut wheel and trim out all the rusty stuff I wouldn't say it's worse than what I thought it was. I knew it was bad, but there's what we got. That's why we have cut it all apart. So that bushing you see that has no steel around it goes to your leaf spring, which holds the shackle, which holds the rear end in. So we are going to be cutting and splicing in a section of frame rail. 
and then we're going to put in a piece of floor pan but I figured we'd take a look at how bad it was before I fix it outside didn't look that bad until I started hitting on it and then we started making holes in it right there so got a section to cut out come back and show you what I cut out show you the piece I weld in all right we'll be back all right so after looking over this parts car until the floor is not routed through in there like that one but I had the same thing beginning it's getting all weak crunchy but the other side on the parts car this being the driver's side this would then be on the passenger side which means you'd have to flip this around which means this would be going towards the bumper and this area is beautiful so I'm gonna cut right before the bumper all the way around up to the extension got a marker but that's what I'm about to do is cut out the driver's side and go forward here and get some real nice frame rail that ain't rotted at all so this will be what goes to his tail pan and then these hooks will be on the right side and not on the inside if you just to take it off and cut it to here to the back and put it on these would be on the wrong side anyway so that's what we're doing you can see I already got the shackle out of it which was a lot easier than that one on his car because it was being so rotted and falling apart as I was beating on it so all right we'll be back after I cut a piece out all right so we got the piece we need you can see the jacks out of there and it's sitting kind of decent Take a couple deck screws and this thing will be ready to go got a nice four by four from the end of the frame rail we cut off to the other end and the leaf spring is just pushing up against the bottom of it and it's not all squatted here like it's got a leaf spring in the trunk but we used a couple of different tools we used one of these and we use those and then we use that thing over there and some of these with the big spartan and a jack of course you had to have a jack and power it's done so the piece we have gotten is right here and not too shabby it's got one little spot I'm gonna weld up on it right here before we even put it in but I'm gonna clean it all up we'll take another look at it after I clean it up then I'll probably cut it down to what we need again this is gonna be passenger side we're probably not pushing a new bushing in it for now man I got the bolt out pretty healthy and it's better than the bushing it was on it and it's definitely got metal holding it so figure out how much of that we need crop it back clean it up let's get it welded in so that's what we're doing as I hear round them up train coming we'll be back with y'all there's a better look at it with all that undercoating knocked off so now I will probably just uh, DA it up primer it up weld it up a little bit we'll be sticking that in soon it's got to get trimmed up what we're using so we'll be back and to get that undercoat off man if you don't have one of those things right here then you could spend all day on shit like that but on to something else you could try to play but you're never gonna be me look the other way what i'm doing ain't easy bloody and stain from the people who deceive me muddy hands break through the chains go free me Change, look of a plane, pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane, pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson, he got a new engine. 
All right. So as we can see, got the old one cut out. It's obviously way smaller than what we need here. Because now that I've trimmed it up, I can get some measurements and cut that one to fit. But we can go take a look. Now what we got, man. Not a whole lot of work today. I didn't plan on putting as much work as I thought I had to in the patch piece itself. But it's ready to go now. It just needs trimmed down to fit in here. So I think I got the measurements all just about scraped out to where I can just cut it to slide in there overlap in the back and hopefully just smack down right on this I just have to do a lot of welding but it's almost there we'll be back again and show you once we start throwing some welds on it all right all right so you can see I've already got it stuck down in there and plaster welded all the way around with some grinds and we're gonna plate the front plate the back I put that little hold down deal back on here after I played a spot right there, but definitely looks better from down here. Yeah, gotta dig that. Still got a lot of welding to do and grinding, but it's almost there. Got the shackle back in it. It's actually holding the car back up, and it's way better now than what it was. But we're gonna continue to weld this out. Probably going to spend a fucking half the day on this thing still, man. But this was a major repair this car needed really, really bad. Thought it was just a small hole. I believe I showed you all yesterday when I cut it out how bad it actually was. So uh, it's not like we could have uh, skipped out on doing that. Don't mind the music. I don't own any rights to that stuff. I just like listening to it. But uh, yeah, dude, that had to come out. So we're going to continue to grind and weld the rest of the day and hopefully make it to some body work. This is Monday, so I got Tuesday. I don't think I'll get it all done body work in one day, so let's hope I get that shit done in the back so I can start on it today. Got like four or five areas that really got to be blocked out real good and icing up and blocked and icing and blocked. So, so let's clean the garage out there Wednesday, take the car out there Thursday. I might still have a day of... 220 in it, blowing it out, painting it, or masking it off so we can get it painted. A lot of work ahead of us. Going to be a busy week. So, all right, we'll come back and show you what this looks like as I finished it up. I showed the other side of it, but looks just like the other side. Way better than what it was. Which this side wasn't the side I had to hold, the other side. So, all right, that's what we got. We'll be back, show you what it looks like when I get it done. At least all welded up and dirt glass down. All right.
So as you see, we got the car out here, man, to get it painted. To go out and clean this floor up. Been about five years since I painted anything out here. I've been real successful actually not having a booth here to actually get stuff out of here without much dirt. But since the last five years have gone by, we got birds living in here. So got plastic on the sides, plastic over the top. We'll re wet the floor tomorrow. Got a couple spots on the car. It don't look bad, man. I mean, if a body man's looking at it, there might be a couple alignment things you can pick up on, but to the average Joe, it's going to look mad. So I got a couple spots I got to play with in the morning underneath the bottom of that fender, the bottom of this quarter, but we're almost ready to rock and roll. Got it all cleaned up. Going to 320 it probably tomorrow, too. Painting a cool little scout. Belongs to the guy that works here. His dad owns this place, and uh, his dad went and bought a scout, too. Check this thing out. This thing's pretty badass. I dig the green. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I know the other one I painted, I made a slideshow video of it back on restoring them up. On the same restoring them up videos I made, I also painted that red truck in here. So, yep, I painted that truck, replaced the bed with a nice solid southern white bed, and just reshot the whole truck. But digging it, it's been a long day. Be back tomorrow, and hopefully, we'll be spraying some red paint after a little bit more scuffing, prepping, tacking. Let's get her done. Got to work with what you got. And I got to tell you, I'm digging it. So we see you in the morning. My mic ain't working, so I'm just going to speak up and hopefully everybody will be able to hear me. As you can tell in those first two clips, I tried to record, my mic's not working, so. Got no audio with any of that first stuff we showed. But we had a real light coat, and when this is like, I guess you could say, the second coat, although this was the first of the two coats, it was actually pretty heavy. So we got a couple spots I ain't too happy with, but. Overall, it's laying down real good. I do like this Summit paint. It should look pretty fucking outstanding and minty time we get done. Of course, it's base coat, clear coat, so we gotta shoot probably at least two more coats of red and then about three or four coats of clear. That's what we'll be back with. <laughs> be a third coat of red and she is red it's 
we're going to give this about a 15 minute flash. That's what we've been doing between coats, about 15 minutes of flash time. And I did say there was areas that we weren't happy with, but you got to remember this is base coat, clear coat. This ain't enamel, so we can always go back, fix an area, and blend and paint up to a molding or to the end of a door or whatever we got to do. So we're not going to sweat all that. We just want to get it all shiny and my son out enjoying this thing, man. I know his grandpa had been proud of, proud of us redoing it, man. So there's a good look at it. Too bad his brother ain't here. His brother could help West Sand this bitch out in a couple days because we're going to do a lot of West Sand and buffing. But the dirt's been real limited. I am thankful for the area we got to shoot this in today. Because again, 90% of the car will be done and we can always blend and fix the little areas. So I'm digging it, some clear on it. And let's see what it looks like shiny. So you can tell there's a little bit of shine to it right now and that's just because that almost fourth coat because I did start with a light coat and then three heavier coats. So we gotta let it dry up a little bit. We'll be back shooting some clear. Let this thing sit we can get her on mass, put the wheels back on and cruise it home. I don't know if we'll take it home tonight, probably be tomorrow, but these boys out here in this garage, they get busy when they're at work and obviously it's Sunday and they're all off today. So that's how it's able to come in here and paint this on a Sunday. And yesterday kicked my ass doing all this plastic to where I didn't get the body work done that I wanted to. So today has been a real long, stressful day of prepping, scotch brighten, 320 in, finding two or three more areas that needed icing, but you know what? It's red, and Johnny's digging that. It's all right, as he cheeses it. He'll be cheesing it a lot with this car. We'll be back with some clear. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some need us to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste and all right, that's going to be a second coat of clear. We are picking up some dirt. It's going to have to be wet sanded out. So we planned on wet sanding and buffing it anyway. But it's starting to shine. You got to dig that, man. This car ain't shined in years. So again, we got some big bugs. But I don't think it'll be nothing we'll have to worry about. It'll all wet sand and buff out. Of course, it's always going to look better on camera. But like those dudes are rounding them up that goes out there and sprays their car down with water. Yeah, that's not what you're looking at here. This is actually clear and that's actually going to be the way it's going to shine. But obviously the shine will be better. Act with wet sand and buff it. Some of the chrome needed polished out too. So let y'all say it with me. I'm digging it. We'll be back at the last. clear laid a little extra on the roof the deck lid and the hood because we're gonna be wet sanding out some dirt some bugs that's typical oh the camera we can pick them up i think it will you can actually see their specs on it but again it'll have to be wet sanded out and buffed he's already excited wanting to take it home but 
probably a good couple weeks away from that happening. So, all right, until we come back in a couple hours and start unmasking it, it's going to be a wrap for now. See you on a few or just a second. So it's been about four hours. That's right, it's been about four hours. We got it masked off. We're about to drive it home. So it looks like Christine. We're digging it, man. Digging it, man. Digging it, man. Put a smile on this kid's face, man. Huh? Tell me how it wasn't worth that. We got a lot of buff and some trim to put on. But we're about to fire it up and roll home. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.